lifers. <laughs> That's gonna be so annoying, but let's get into this video. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Winter, and you're tuned into my channel, Life featuring winter because life happens if you read the title of this video a part of life it's breakups and this video is how to boss up on your ex after a breakup aka how to move on how to get over your ex after a breakup people have requested me to do this video so many times because they say winter when you break up with somebody it's like they never existed it's like you don't care you never cared at all that's not true what's true is i did care while i was in this situation however once i got out of it if we broke up that means you did something to me or something went left and i just don't feel the same way i feel about you or you broke up with me in any of those situations <laughs> i'm not gonna waste my time my emotions my tears my feelings still being invested and still caring about you that's just not gonna happen. So that's why it seems like, and it's not seem, it is. That's why I get over breakups so easily or whatever or move on so quickly because I don't have time to not to. I just don't have time. So let's get into this conversation. How to boss up on your ex. The first thing you need to do is block them. Block them. Block them on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu. I don't care. Block them from being able to contact you. You know what though? Leave them on Cash App. They can send money to talk to you. I'm for that. that that's a good idea. That, yeah. Leave them on Cash App. But yeah, block them. And I say block them because you don't need reminders. You don't need them to be petty. And you definitely don't need them to try to send subliminal messages to you. You don't need it, baby. Move on. If it did not work, it wasn't supposed to. And that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Number two, go ahead and go out on a date. I was just telling my best friend that. I feel like if you want to get over somebody, you need to get on with somebody else. <laughs> And that sounds so awful, but I'm not telling you to jump into a relationship, but I am telling you to explore your options because the hardest part of a breakup is not having somebody to talk to. It's not having somebody to boo up with. It's not having somebody to hang out with like you used to because you're so used to that. Go on a few dates. That's what I say. Go on a few dates, hang out. You know, I'm not telling you to jump into something serious, but I am telling you to move on. The second thing that I recommend, I'm going to third. We're on third. We're on third? Yeah, we're on third. The third thing is go and get yourself together. Get your hair done. Get your nails done. Buy your outfit. Do it for the gram. Do it for the snap. Do it for the vine. Do it for you. Do it to make yourself feel better and remind yourself of why you don't need them anyway. Not to remind them of what they're missing. A lot of people do it to remind their ex of what they're missing. No, you need to do it to remind yourself of why you don't need them. Girl, you bad. You bad. Uh, 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 uh. You cute. Boo, you don't need them. You do not need them. The fourth thing. Invest time into something that you have always wanted to do. Whether it was start a business, take a hobby, bungee jumping, working out. See, the hardest part, I'm going to say this again, about a breakup is what do you do with all that extra time? And if you don't have anything to do with it, all you're going to do is use it to worry about, to think about, and to miss them. Uh-uh, boo. Uh-uh, boo. You're way better than that. You're not going to do that. You are going to keep going with your life. So, yeah, find something to do with your time, girl. Get, get busy about yourself. Get some busy about yourself. When I went through my breakup, I started a company. That's why I've started so many. <laughs> that sounds so awful. But that's why I've started so many companies because I knew um, 
I needed something to do when I wasn't in my relationship. Well, I needed something to do with my time because it was either invest in something positive like a business, like a hobby, or I was just going to find somebody else that was just like the person I just left before I healed and get into some more BS. So when I'm telling you what I recommend you do, is find something to do with your time. I don't know what number we on, but we're just going to keep talking. Go back to church. Go back to Jesus. Find Jesus. It ain't no better way. Nobody gives no better advice about how to get through a breakup than Jesus. Listen, and I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, God. But a lot of people, I know me, when I get out of my relationship, I go to church more. That's just me being honest. I go to church more, but I'm glad I do because in that time, won't he do it? Won't he do it? The reverend comes with a message that I know the Lord sent just for me. And the Lord and the reverend be sitting there saying, and I know that you thought you needed this person and you didn't need this person and you don't have to build this. And you be like, God, 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 you so, God, God, you so shady. Did you, you are so shady. God be throwing shade. I don't know about y'all, but go to church though. Get back close with God because you know, sometimes when we get in these relationships, we are so caught up in the person that we lose our sense of religion. And that's how we make all kind of bad decisions. I don't want that for y'all. I had that for myself. It is not a good place to be. Go out. Go out with your girls. And again, this is not to make the other person mad. This is for you to learn how to get back to yourself, to remember who you were before this relationship, how awesome you were before this person and how awesome you're gonna be after this person. Ignore all their calls, ignore all their text messages. You have nothing to talk about because from my experience, all you do is talk in a circle. You say the same thing over and over. You say the same thing over and over. You're not going to get to a common ground. Nobody's going to say, oh, baby, you're right. And I've been wrong this whole time. We should really be back together. No. All everybody on the phone is going to do, the two of you, not everybody, but the two of you on the phone is going to do is try to communicate to the other person why you're right. You don't need that. You don't need that. So don't even set yourself up. Because whether you talk to that person for one minute or you talk to that person for one hour, when you hang up, your heart is still going to feel the same. And they're not going to say what you want them to say. Because if they were, you would still be together. Ding, 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 ding. So the fact that you're not together is because you can't come to a common ground. You have a delete, a different, a delete. <laughs> A different belief system you're not on the same page and that is okay there is somebody out there for you that person wasn't it so if you take anything from this video it is this everything that you do after this breakup make sure it's for you and not for them that is the misconception don't do it to make them sad don't do it to hurt their feelings, but do it because you know you desire to live your best life. If you like this video, if you think I give pretty good advice, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. This thing called life, me and you, we're going to do it together. I got you because I done been through some stuff already and I just need to tell y'all how to get through it too. All right, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Thank you for watching my video, Lifer. That is so annoying, and I'm really going to work on it. Bye.